Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. In this series, we are going to solve one very interesting Diophantine equation today. Equation is 1 plus 1996x plus 1998y equal to xy. We have to find out all integer pairs x, y. So let's get it started. Consider all the terms to RHS or one side. So I will write our equation as xy minus 1996x minus 1998y minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now from first two terms, I can see x is common. So let us consider x common. y minus 1996. Okay. From next term i have to consider this y minus 1996 once again if i want to factorize it so what i will do i will write here 1998 y as it is then i will consider plus 1996 times 1998 once i will take 1998 common now then in bracket it would be left with y minus 1996 minus outside okay so, because I have added this term extra, so I have to take away that term extra. So, let me write here minus 1996 times 1998, these two terms. And rest would be as it is minus 1 equal to 0. Now, let me consider common here. I will write y minus 1996 minus what I will take common 1998 okay in bracket now just check these two brackets I will write here minus 1996 so task is done so far only these two terms this term and minus one so okay I will take the product of this so I can write the value minus this value if I will take product then 3 9 880 08 minus 1 equal to 0. So in next step I will consider this addition. So 3988009 now. Okay, now I will go for factorization. If you will find out factor, then it is 197 whole 1997 whole square. 1997 whole square and one very interesting thing about this number 1997 is prime number this is the key point of this number so let me write that equation once again so i will write x times y minus 9 6 minus 1998 in bracket y minus 996 and then I will consider because of this is with negative sign. So I can write 1997 whole square. Now I will take y minus 1996 common. So I can write our equation as x minus 1998 in one parenthesis. In second bracket, I will write y minus 1996 equal to 1997 square. Okay. Now 1997is prime number. So what I can consider here, these two products should be this much square. So if both of the bracket is having same sign means plus plus, then I will get plus outcome or both will be having individually negative sign, then I will get product positive. So what I will write here, the factorization, because this is prime number, I can consider, let me write here, 1, and here I can write 9, 7 square. This is our first consideration with both numbers, both factors positive. So if I will consider minus over here, then this would be negative, minus times minus plus. Similarly, the reversal plus minus 1997 square and plus minus 1. And third option which I will consider 
that would be each number is plus minus 1997. So second would be plus minus 1997. These three possibilities, three cases are there. Okay, so one by one we will consider the set of equation and then we will find out the value of integer. So let me write here. Let me write one time x minus it was 1998 y minus 1996 equal to 1997 whole square. Now let's consider the case. Case number one, this one is plus minus one. This one is plus minus 1997 square. Vice versa. So I will consider first one as 1997 whole square and second one is plus minus 1 bracket. Okay. Third case I will consider individual number is individual bracket is 1997. From this way we will get output as 1997 square. So let's frame the set of equations. So first case let me consider this one. So I will write for this set of equation I will write x minus 1998 equal to plus minus 1. So I can write from here x is equal to 1998 plus minus 1. So from here we will get x is equal to either plus 1 if you will consider 1999 and minus if you will consider 1997. Now come to the y value. So y equation will be y minus 1996 that would be equal to plus minus 1997 square. Add both sides 1996. So I will write 1996 plus minus 1997 square. So once I will consider plus then I will get with respect to 1999 and minus with respect to with x coordinate 1997. So let me write both the values then we will frame in coordinate form x comma y. So I will write first y value would be let me write y1. So I will write 1996 plus 1997 square and y2 will be 1996 minus 1997 square. This one is 1 and 2 1 comma 2. Let's frame the coordinates. So I will write x comma y for first set, set 1. x comma y it would be, let me write here, 1999 comma 1996 plus 1997 square. And second set I will get 1997 comma 1996 minus 1997 square. So from case 1 or set 1 we are having two coordinates, two integer pairs. Let's consider the second case which is plus minus 1997 square plus minus 1. So I will do the same thing. I will equate both the equations. Let me equate here. I will write this case number 2. Okay. Let me write here. X minus 1998 is equal to plus minus 1997 square. And then we are having second equation 1 minus 996 equal to plus minus 1. So we can write directly equations similar way. So I will write x comma y. It would be equal to. Let me write 1997 square plus 1998 comma 1997. And second set second coordinate I will get negative 1997 square plus 1998, 1995. This is our y value. 
so far we have framed four coordinates actually now come to the case number 3 so case number 3 we are having the third set is x minus 1998 is equal to plus minus 1997 and y minus 1996 is equal to plus minus 1997 so let's frame it first so let me write case number 3 x minus 1998 equal to plus minus 1997 and second equation let me write here y minus 1996 is equal to same thing 1997 okay then the product will be positive okay let us consider the first equation first so i will write x will be equal to plus minus 1997 plus 1998 so if i will consider plus then i i will get let me write here with plus sign with minus sign with plus sign we will have 1997 plus 1998 with minus sign if you will consider you will get 1 okay so this value you will get plus 1997 plus 1998 it is 3995 and second value this is already 1 so x values are clear now come to the y y will be equal to i will write plus minus 1997 Plus one nine nine six nine six. Okay, let us find out both the sets. So I will write here one nine nine seven plus one nine nine six and minus one nine nine seven plus one nine nine six. So let's find out this value also. So if you will find out this addition, it is seven plus six three. So it will come out three nine nine three. and second value is obviously negative 1 so here we are having set ready x comma y it would be equal to so i will write in terms of sets i will write 3 9 9 then we are having 3 9 9 3 one set and second set or second coordinate that would be 1 comma minus 1 so these are basically six coordinates if you want to see all together you can take a pause or you can take a reverse and then you can check there are six coordinates six solutions six integer pairs possible for the given diophantine equation for integer values i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck